Hi everybody and welcome to my Unruly Housewife channel. Now one of the things that I find difficult to do in polymer claying is slicing canes and um, a cane like this, although this is a bit of a dried out old example, um, can be an absolute nightmare to slice and especially if you want to slice it thinly. Now there are a lot of expensive cane slicers on the market and I'm sure they're very good but Perhaps like me, you don't want to make that kind of investment because you don't slice canes very often or because you just don't have the money. So today I'm going to show you an idea which a lady called Jane Cox um, brought to our attention. Um, I belong to a group on Facebook called Hop, Hooked on Polymer, and Jane Cox posted a way of making yourself a little homemade cane slicer for less than, uh, well, less than $10 or £10 and uh, so I'm just looking at my crib sheet and um, Jane if you like this idea she's got an Instagram account called Jane Loves Creativity and she's also got an Etsy shop called Serendipity by Jane and I'm sharing those because I mean look what a great idea she's given us look at the slices now I haven't even practiced much with her little homemade slicer and look what I've made slices this thin and uh, believe me, that is something that I would not be able to do just using uh, a blade and a tile or whatever. So I'm going to show you how you can make this little cane slicer and what you need to buy. Well, the first thing you're going to need is this. And it's a mini mitre box. And uh, this is a Draper Mini Mitre Box, and I'll just look at the number here. It's uh, Draper 48677. Now, I was look, looking on uh, Amazon, and I could find this in England, but in America it was incredibly expensive. It was like $50, <laughs> and in England it was less than £5. So you might want to look around at your local hardware store and see if you can find a Mitre Box that is uh, not incredibly expensive. This one's... Um, Let's have a look, it's like an inch and a half wide or uh, three and a half centimetres wide inside there. And that's handy because the next part of your homemade slicer is this. It is a uh, steel ruler. So that's what your, uh, your cane sits on. And I'm using a square cane just for my own benefit because it's easier than trying to do the round one. Um, for me, while I'm tipping around like this filming, and as you can see, you've got this here, this parallel slot, nice flat slot for you to put your blade in. And it wouldn't take a genius to see how this goes together once Jane Cox has given you the idea. <laughs> so this is um, a Sculpey slicer, but you could use a different one if you wanted. You just need a nice sharp blade. And then um, the way Jane moves hers, because one complaint I had... Um, was when you press down on your blade this tends to pull back and spoil your uh, slice so Jane taught me what she does is she moves she holds that with her thumb and you might want to just square that up to the edge there you go and just makes her cut pushes down obviously she makes a smaller one than that the way I did mine because I have to be difficult is I had it the other way around so that this um, flat piece here, because these are all at angles, it's a mitre box after all, I had this piece closer to me here. Oops, it's going off my tile. Let's just move this so that I actually had it in front of my face and I cut it with a, just um, a finger on there. I've forgotten how I did it now. <laughs> Yeah, my finger on there, and I was able then to um, slice through it. Now, I'm going to try and do it here while you're watching. Let me remove the tile so that my box is not sliding around. As you can see, you want to develop your own technique for how to hold this. You might, you might even want to fix it in place with something. Jane's ruler has a foam back that stops the ruler from moving. I don't have that at the moment, but I might invest in one. That 
that's the best that I can do on camera and it's not very good because it's just too nerve-wracking but as you can see at least it's a whole piece and you know what it's better than I can normally do there you have it that's the idea all you need is a steel ruler a metal ruler and one of these mitre boxes now I've had a look at this one and it is recycle number six which means it's polystyrene it's got PS there as well um, according to the blue bottle tree um, ginger Davis Allman gives us a lot of technical advice about polymer clay on there um, this is kind of plastic doesn't play very well with raw clay so you will want to uh, give it a good clean up after you've finished with it but um, because these are so cheap and you might find one a different kind of plastic I really do think they are worth the time and the investment I'm very grateful to Jane for her idea and uh, yeah let's bring these back you do need to practice but I mean it's just that's not something that I could do without the help of this box and it is a very cheap solution to a very irritating problem thanks very much to Jane Jane loves creativity on Instagram serendipity by Jane on Etsy and any uh, information you want about polymer clay technical issues go to the blue bottle tree and um, or blue bottle tree which I always say wrong and check it out there if you liked this video do consider subscribing and check me out on Instagram and on Facebook where I have the same name that I have here and thank you very much for watching I love you all bye